you get your three perks that you get for your survivor. You have no items, no offerings. Now, the other thing about blood webs are every level is randomly generated and every teachable that you have accessible to you, every common uh, perk that is shared amongst all of the characters is available into this pool and then different items, add-ons, and offerings are all randomly put into this. And you've seen Jeff, Jeff Johansson's perk is here because I've done his teachable so now it appears in other survivors webs. So as we burn through the blood web at the lower levels you'll start to see that that's the entity waking up and the entity now the entity will eat one of these two items basically um it doesn't matter here because it's a it's a 50 50 so like if i get this one he's getting that whatever whatever there we go for the sake of leveling my blood web up fast i just pick common items all the time now closest again but i also don't want that it's a good item it's a great item for survivors but i don't i don't use it a lot i don't really use med kits a whole lot so i'm gonna pick this just because it's cheaper and it'll get me further in my blood web add-ons or offerings that increase blood points i want I'm gonna come for that first unless i grab it and then it'll go probably over here there we go. Now, if I want this item, I need to grab it. If not, that's going to be the next item that gets eaten because it goes this and then it moves to whatever's closest if it's open. So then I can go like this. And then now I have to have this. Okay, so now we're at the point in time in the blood web where blood web will allow you to pick one of the two perks. I'm gonna pick small game because I'm terrified of totems. But I kinda wanna look around first. I want this. Okay, now the entity's woken up. Now because I know that if I grab one of the perks, the entity will grab the other perk. I know where the entity's gonna go. And then the next move the entity make will be here. I'll move over here. If I had to guess, the entity would go here or here. That's it. Yeah. And now I'll go strode. Second level, buckle up. I'm gonna pick that if I pick this properly. There we go. Most of the time, I just focus towards the perk that I want, and then I just pull uh, common stuff off, just because I'm basically burning through the blood web. That's all. I want Iron Will more than I want Head On. Head On's kind of gimmicky. But I want to grab some more brown items first. But now the Entity's woken up, and if I pick this next, the Entity most likely will grab Iron Will. So I'm going to grab this, and Titi's going to grab this, I'm going to grab this. 
went over here, grab this. Now it'll grab these, and I think because they're not active, it'll grab both of them at the same time. Yep. but one's more useful, slightly more useful than the other. Won't run either of them, but... And me going here, I forced the entity to move. If I grab this entity, it'll go over here. Oh, no, it'll go here. That's good, because I wanted to eat that. And that, consequently. There we go. Save me some points. There we go. Use, use the uh, entity to your advantage in saving blood points as you try and level up. I'm trying to get up to 40 because if I get to 40 I can show you the blood web past so past 40 40 and, and above um, as the blood web your level on your character can go up to 50 and at level 50 if you don't prestige and you just finish the blood web you'll just it'll just create a new blood web So now I'm out of blood points. <clears throat> what I could do, if I have it, is go to the shop, Shrine of Secrets. Now, your iridescent shards, 
you can use those to buy teachables instead of having to take like detective tap all the way to level 40 30 35 or 40 whichever level detectives hunch appears in his blood web instead of having to take him all the way there and unlock that teachable i could spend 2000 of my iridescent shards which are gained from gameplay from your experience that you get as you play um i could use 2000 of those to buy that but I already have that teachable unlocked because I've spent the blood points. So now I have the ability to just buy this and get 150,000 blood points. So if I want to try and get Ash up to 40 to show you how we get there, I would just buy blood points. So that took away 2,000, gave me 150,000 blood points. Do it one more time. There we go. So now I have 300,000 blood points. Going back to the web. What now? Iridescent shards are also used in the, uh, in the cosmetic shop to get unlockables uh, for your character customizations. So that's another reason to save it, but every so often I'll use them on blood points. Once I make a beeline for my perk that I want, once I've created like a, a d direct path to it, I can kind of shop around and do whatever else up until this comes out. Now this should technically take this, but I don't really want to chance it. So now I force it to, ch to take that. Come over here, grab the yellow ones because the yellow ones are cheaper. Now I've made a path, so that lets me buy some brown ones, because they're cheap. As we get higher, you can start to see I'm getting more purple and ultra rare add-ons. If I didn't grab this, then the entity would continue this way, and then eventually get over here. So now we're level 40. So instead of just two perks in the blood web, now there's three. I'm going to grab Soul Survivor. I think it'll go for a hope. Yeah. So now I can grab Metal Man. Now, originally I wanted to make sure I got Metal of Man, but the entity appeared on this side of this perk. So if I didn't grab this perk, it would have grabbed this perk. But I think the way the entity works at this point in time in the game with the perks is the opposite side of it. It'll take the perk from the opposite side if you have taken the closest one. I don't know if that's 100% how it works, but I feel like when I've tried it, it it's, it's not going to get it. Try one more time and then that's that. Pieces open-handed, streetwise. 
deliverance. So let's see about... Okay. So I would think that it would pick... I would hope it would pick Streetwise. Um, but it might go directly for this if it picks the opposite side as if it was going to travel over here. So it might pick this. Or it just might come on this opposite side and pick this one because it's the higher value. So I guess it just came on that opposite side. Higher value. So that's how I got those. That's basically it for the blood web and prestiging and, and all that good stuff. And how to get more blood points from from the shrine. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, anything, uh, let me know. And I can uh, I can address those in the comments section or make another video helping. Um, yeah, just let me know. Thanks.